Stop what you're doing. I don't care what it is you're doing, just stop it right now. I'm Nadeem Ahmed, it's time to get stuff. Now, in the kitchen today, I've got some company. I've got a glamorous assistant. It's Rowdy, and he is one of the directors of Southall TV. A big foodie as well, which is absolutely fantastic. We're all foodies here. I mean, come on, how can you resist? So without further ado, here he is. Hi, how are you doing, Rowdy? Yeah, you all good, right? good, good, good. Yeah, um, how are you feeling? Because um, you're gonna be kind of pulling the chains or, or the, the ropes whilst I deliver today, so. Uh, well, Are you excited? Well, I'm excited and I'm feeling good, basically. It's uh, something uh, I think we all love eating, uh, the butter chicken and, uh, and the other, other... You will tell other dishes. Right? Yes, so we're going to be making a prawn dish as well, which has got... Uh, it's a Bengali prawn dish with a, a twist of Punjab in there, so very, very interesting. And then also a chicken, butter chicken, actually. That's one of my favourite dis dishes. Dishes? Dishes. Don't diss it. I definitely won't be dissing it. Dissing the dish. It's, got, it's quite a special dish because I, I love it. Yeah. I mean, it's going to be very oh, rich yeah. and fun. So uh, we're going to start off with the chicken first. So uh, it's uh, if you're on a diet, that diet is going out the window because this is yeah. not for people who are on a diet. Um, it's actually a, a really, really nice dish to do because yeah. um, I've, no, I've never known how to make it. So well, uh, actually, this is your idea. So The funny thing is so simple to make. Mm. Uh, and But before we go any further, Yes. Today we're making Dabai style butter chicken. So Fantastic. It's, it's our proper Punjabi Punjabi style, right? So, uh, but one thing which I actually kind of like to add to normal Dabai style chicken is yes. The, uh, you know, this chicken I would put in the grill for a bit, for five ten minutes. Interesting. Just give a little, little texture, a little. So let's start Ooh, doing we're, that. Right? We're doing this a fun way here. I'm yeah. liking this. So our one is already on. Okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, actually, grill is already on. Grill is on. And we're gonna go for it, okay? And then we're just going to yeah, dr drizzle, drizzle a little bit of oil on it. Okay, yeah, to avoid uh, burning, of course. Yeah, uh, uh, let me do that, actually. Oh, well, it's, so it's, it's quite easy. warm, actually. Yeah, it is. Okay. And just a little bit. All right. So should we just shake yeah, it around yeah. so that so um, that doesn't chicken, stick yeah, the chicken? Yeah. I quite like the idea of that. So I'm gonna have to put it down here. Is that all right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's I really so. hot. Um, all right. Uh, so I'll let. Um, I'll do the deeds. The, yeah, you do the deeds, actually. I'll do yes. the deeds. Okay, so, so this is the chicken. Yeah. Some beautifully cooked chicken here, very precise. You can see every every piece is exactly the same as the other, <laughs> cut by my other glamorous assistant. Okay, so we'll, we'll put this on. Oh, you can hear it sizzle. Wow. Okay, that's quite exciting. Something is happening. So is this one of the uh, recipes that you've kind of sort of added your own take on yeah, yourself. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Now, while we... Uh, can't get it in. All right, there we are. <laughs> while this is happening, uh, yeah. why don't we do this? This is the prawns, which we're going to use next in your Bengali-style prawn curry. Which, yes. Which will have a little Punjabi twist to it. Excellent. Yeah. Bring it on. So now, I think let's marinate it now, so okay. by the time we cook... We're saving chicken, time. Is, yeah, that's it, that's yeah, it. That's you know, we're going so traditional today as well. I love the plates that we've got here. Look, it's very authentic. <laughs> Everything is going all authentic today. Okay. Okay, right. now, so we will marinate this uh, turmeric. Turmeric, okay, yeah. Um, and so, it's, it's, how many prawns is it there? That's enough to feed maybe... I mean, I mean, this, I would say it will feed at least three people. Three people, okay, uh, good. Maybe more, but yeah. Uh, combining with <laughs> butter chicken, I think we have, what, five, six people, five people here? Yeah, so we'll be it depends stuffed. how healthy your appetite we will, is. Yeah, well, we'll still get, get stuffed. Okay, excellent. A little bit less than that, less because than that. this is just to add a bit of colour. Okay, so would you say about, maybe, it, yeah. about a yeah. quarter of a yeah. tablespoon, yeah. Yeah. right? Yeah. Yep, just give it a good... Really nice colours. Yeah, very that, nice that, and, that's uh, the thing. Okay, now, nice. the second thing is the red chilli. Oh, my favourite. Yeah, but before... Uh, I mean, thing is now, this is Kashmiri red chilli. Oh. The re only difference between the normal red chilli and Kashmiri red chilli is yeah. it has a lot more red colour to it. Okay, so... It, it burns really the same way. It burns <laughs> the same way, I like that. <laughs> But it's got more colour to it, so yeah. Excellent. Okay, so, Kashmiri well, chilli. Let's get it in. That's to taste. Now, Nadim to taste. taste. <laughs> oh, no. I'm already no, scared. I'll, I'll, I'll be kind today <laughs> since it's you. So, um, all right. Is is that going to be enough for about that much? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. yeah? Okay. See, all these really. No, I actually, give a little Nadim go to it. Oh my god, are you sure? But you've got to eat it as well. Yeah, well. <laughs> I'll dare it to that. Not, not yet. No, yeah, yeah, that's that it. much. Okay. <laughs> wow, we really I'll pushing it out. I'll dare it to that. Oh, look at the chicken now, actually. Okay, the chicken we, before we burn it. Yeah. 
So we are really multitasking yeah, here. Exactly. We're really going for it. Full power. Okay, yeah, it's gone. Oh, yeah, brilliant. Is that, that perfect, perfect, yeah? Perfect. Okay, now. Okay, perfect. Um, Let's get marinating. Yeah. Pinch of salt. Pinch of salt. Quarter of that, actually. Quarter of that. Yeah. Okay, so very minimal. It's yeah, just, just a pinch, pinch. Because this is very, very salty. Okay. Salt. Again, you like a little exotic things. Yeah. Everything's got a little twist on yeah. it. I like that. Yeah. Very unique, very good. There we are. Okay, okay. and a little drizzle of lemon juice. Um, oh, nice. Then yeah. You, and then just, just, yeah. Just go a bit. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. That yeah, yeah, that's what should be enough. Not and too if crazy. Mix, if you mix it, uh, well, normally I get my hands dirty, but it's up to you. I don't mind, yeah, let's yeah. get dirty. dirty. <laughs> <laughs> What's cooking without getting dirty? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's got to be done. I'll have nice yellow fingers at the end of it, but that's fine. <laughs> That looks alright, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's looks okay. perfect. Those okay. look really good, and that's just ready to, to be uh, stay to still? To be cooked. Oh, to be cooked. Hey. Okay, so that can just stay still for now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So here we go, that's... Let, let it heat up a little bit. Is, yeah. is that much oil enough? Uh, or do I need to... Let me have a look. Well, thing is, it's butter chicken, so... Oh, it doesn't matter. Yeah. There's going to be plenty of butter. <laughs> God, we really are going all out today. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so uh, make sure this is a little bit hot. Yeah, that's, it, it, needs, it needs to be much hotter yeah, than that. Yeah, yeah. So just to go through the ingredients here, we've got two types of cardamom. We've got the green and the black, a couple of bay leaves, dried red chilli, and cumin seeds. Cumin seeds. Yeah. And one more thing, which is very important, this one. Uh, you know, you can get two types of red chilies, one yeah. round ones and this, and this, this flat ones. Oh, yeah. Uh, flat ones are better yeah. because round one has too many seeds, so you, oh, don't, okay. get, you don't get much chili in it. It's All right. seeds. It's just so the seeds. It's better to use this one. Okay. Better. Good, very good tip. Very good tip. I think that's quite warm yeah, now, yeah, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, so it is, it is, it is. I'm just going to shove it in with my hands. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's sizzling away, it's popping away. Let's start a little Excellent. bit. So okay. So give it a good little stir. It's popping. Yeah, that's it. Now. Okay, so we're ready to put the yeah. ginger. So ginger, it's literally ginger like a, it's a teaspoon of, uh, that's ginger, a that, garlic, sorry, that's minced. Garlic. minced. Yeah, actually. Okay. Yeah, a little bit more. A little bit more. A little bit <laughs> Wow. That is fitting some stuff out in there. Okay, a little bit more. Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, and then. So now this spoon of ginger. So it's a good tablespoon of ginger yeah. here. A little yeah. bit more. Yeah. Okay. Well, lots of spitting, so just be very, very careful here. Mm -hmm. It's on the walls and everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Okay, let's quickly stir it. Now it's time to do the butter. Okay, butter. We're going to use three quarters of this one, so um, here it goes. Okay. okay, so take maybe that much off and then use in the bulk of it. No, no, no. Uh, Actually, I would use half for now. You know, use half. Yeah, because the amount of chicken I'm looking at. There's yeah, the same proportion yeah, to yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so we're going to use this nice big blob of butter, and there it goes. Um, and that's yeah. what's going to give it that buttery taste, of course. So, I'll put this on here, okay? Um, so, once that's melted, and then we're going to move on to the tomato puree, is that correct? Well, no, we will put the onion first. Oh, the onions, the onions first. Onions. Okay, so what we'll do, we've got a really nice little paste going on here. Um, and we've added the butter in, so that's just slowly, slowly melting in there. And then we're going to put a handful of onions in there, and that's going to give it that extra bit of flavour, isn't it? So, so um, did you start cooking from a young age then? Yes, uh, I did, because uh, a lot of time I spent out on the shows and, and the tours and everything. And yeah. of course we missed home food, you know, when you're of out and you never of get course. back. So, so first thing I, I learned to make was a, was dal. Dal? <laughs> that, that seems like a really complex dish to me. Is it easy to make? Well, actually there is something uh, called Hyderabadi dal. Basically, it's just dal yeah. in water. Amchur, which is uh, mango mango powder, yes. raw mango powder. Yeah. And salt, haldi, chili and that's it. So is armchur the, the secret ingredient that gives it's, it the flavour? That, 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 exactly. Yeah. And that's it. There's nothing in, in it and, and it comes out so tasty. That's basically... Easiest. Yeah. And it's, I mean, yeah, it takes a bit of time to make. Yeah. But but yeah. All good things come to those who wait. Yeah. So, yeah. so uh, well, what is your favourite dish then and what is the ultimate dish? If somebody could cook for anything for you, what would it be? Well, I have to say biryani. Man. Biryani, no, okay. No, no ifs and buts about it. Again, that's a really complex dish for me. That yeah. seems really difficult, but surely there has to be an easy way to do that. Well, there, mm, this is a very tricky question. Then. There basically isn't. Yeah, well, there is, <laughs> okay. but then you wouldn't call it biryani. 
There's, there's, there's something which I make, which I call it the mini biryani, right? The mini, okay, the mini biryani. good. Yeah. Again, it's not biryani, but it's something that... It's, an, it's similar... part of the biryani family, shall we say, yeah? yeah? well, yeah, let's stick to that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, how long does that take, the mini version? The uh, mini version takes 10, 15 minutes, actually. Brilliant, yeah. okay, because that's the whole purpose. We want quick and easy flavour yeah, some yeah, food, yeah. because we all have very, very stressful lifestyles Absolutely, these yeah. days. and. You know, we want to eat authentic food. So on Get Stuffed, you're going to be learning all the methods of everything. And um, we'll make sure some of it's healthy as well, don't worry. So, <laughs> well, no promises though. <laughs> no promises though, yeah. So, <laughs> because uh, we have got some interesting things lined up in the future as well. Yeah. But um, today, this is looking really, really good. Well, I mean, I think, I think, uh, uh, I think the best idea would be yeah. If we have do an episode just purely on healthy food, I think so. Keep everyone happy. I, I right? think we should. Yeah, yeah I think we should. Very good idea. Yeah. Now this is all melted now. But are we okay. ready for the onions? Yeah, we're ready a little for bit. The so just a handful of onions. Yeah, a handful of onions. Just a handful. Depends so I've got quite big how, hands. How, how. But well, <laughs> is yeah. that enough? Well, no. Yeah, I, th I thought your handful would be bigger. Oh, okay. two handfuls then. You want two handfuls? Okay, so there you go. One. One. And two. So finely chopped onions yeah, as well. Very fine and very nicely chopped as well. Very, so. very nice. Yes. Very, very good. And okay. At this point, I'll put a little bit of salt into it. Okay. So salt will help uh, soften the Saute the yeah. onions. Okay. okay, excellent. So we're going to put a little bit of salt. Have we got another little spoon there? Yeah, yeah, got nice greasy hands, but you know, no no pain, no gain, as I say. Is that going to be enough? Yeah, I think so. A little. So again, it's probably Actually, about... No, I, I, I is that too much? It's too much, yeah. Too okay, much. so about yeah, a quarter of a teaspoon. Yeah. yeah. That goes and actually, it depends on the salt as well. Uh, I would say if anyone wants to try this recipe at home, yeah, they do the salt according to what salt their own they taste. Yeah, own taste yeah. salt but, is something. But is table salt really bad for you then? For cooking, especially. Is yeah. it? Yeah. Why is that? Well, there are several reasons, and one biggest reason is the anti-caking agents they use in salt to make it like all fluffy and all that. Otherwise, normal salt is very sticky and it just kind of... So it's not in its like natural a... form. Nah, yeah. So. Okay. But the, the, the anti-caking agent used in salt, they are kind of make it unhealthy. So it's better to use something organic. Better. And it's, something. it's an interesting colour yeah. as well, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, well, yeah. In its natural form. Now, this yeah. is kind of taking quite shape. It's The, the onions are getting sautéed nicely here. And um, there's a nice sort of paste almost forming, which is which is really good. So, how long do we cook the onions well, for? Well, uh, they need to go a little bit brownish. They, they need they, to be they, brown. Yeah. Now, at this point, we move it on the high flame. Okay, we're going to go high. Yeah, so we're going to move literally in the fast lane now. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so we're speeding it all up. Save, save us some time. Eh? Yeah. <laughs> we could be here for a very long time, yeah, exactly. otherwise. All right, then. So, um, after this, we're moving on to the. Let me guess. If I memorize this correctly, is it the um, the tomato puree? Okay, <laughs> there is something still yeah. there. So, <laughs> right then. So, um, is that a bit more cooking? A bit more? Yeah, I will kick it a little bit more. Uh, it needs to go a bit more browner. Yeah, a bit more brown. yeah. Okay, it's sizzling away here nicely. Well, I do when I personally when I cook for like so, uh, this is the recipe, right? Yeah. However. What I do sometimes to add a little texture, at this point when the onion is slightly softening up, yeah. I will actually add already fried onion into it. On top? Okay, for a bit of crunch? Just, yeah. Okay, a nice bit of kick there. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I do love onions, I just hate cutting yeah. them, that's yeah. the only thing. But, okay, that's a nice little tip. So, yeah. are we going to do that today then? Well, we can. I mean, Why not, yeah. eh? So, Excellent. Oh, I love those. It's already yeah. fried onion. Uh, nice. Yeah, that's it. And it's so lucky that our life has been made so much easier. You, you know, you've got <laughs> garlic yeah. that's all pasted yeah. out. Yeah. Yeah. You've oh, got yeah. fried onions all ready to rock in the pot. I mean, can it get any easier? No, it can't. No. Mm. I guess you could get a takeaway, but that's mm. not the same, is it? <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay, it's looking really good actually. There's all yeah, these because, different yeah, textures. Yeah, the thing is, what we don't want to do is the fried onion is going to yeah. start burning. Yep, yeah. okay. Uh, so it's time to for... avoid that, it's time this. for purifying it. Yeah. Purifying, yeah. All right, let's do this. Okay, so just give me a nudge when I to stop because I do get carried away sometimes. Yeah. Well, uh, this, this, uh, okay, you need to open it. Yeah, that's But fine. this needs to, yeah, go, go. Keep going. Mm -hmm. This you need Let's to be able to skimp on this. Yeah, right. yeah. Any more? Yeah, you can keep going. Keep going. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Because this need, you know, this this will add a little bit of taste and color to it as well. So. Yeah. Yeah, oh. I think. I Are think we? So. That's, that's, that's it. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. One little blow. Yeah. Oh, for yeah. good luck. Just for good luck. 
Yeah, a little bit more. <laughs> so I told you I'd get carried away. Okay, yeah. now, because All this right. is Timor de Pure, there's no water in there. We had real tomatoes that we don't yes. have to put water. But sure, now it's I would sticking add a little, a little bit at the bottom, so we need yeah, to so, add the water. Yeah, yeah. So about half a glass of water yeah, for now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. Oh, the smells are just spectacular. The idea is just to make sure that nothing sticks at the bottom. Okay. I think we've kind of done reasonably well, actually. Yeah, yeah. that's true. Okay, okay. Yeah. The smells are just spectacular, aren't they? They're just that fusion and the, the garlic and the, the ginger, it's amazing. It's really taken nice colour though there. I mean, you were very, very right there. And the onions are kind of almost sort of uh, disappearing yeah, as well, yeah. aren't well, they? That, that's the idea. I mean, I'm just going to completely get yeah. into the spices. And I think, uh, actually, I'm, I'm going to move gonna it to, move the, it to the, the slower, slower, slower heat. Gonna, yeah. yeah, a bit funny now. Oh, that's good. That looks very good. Good, good. I'm excited actually. It'll be interesting to see how different it tastes. Even though we've done it your method, it's going to taste different yeah, still, isn't it? Because I've, I've, I've made course, it. Of course, of course, of course. Okay, now uh, I would add all the ground spices now. Okay, so we're going to quickly go through what these are. We've got the Kashmiri chili. So again, yeah. it's about a teaspoon heaped. Um, is that garam masala? Garam masala. Garam masala again, teaspoon. It's that cumin powder. Cumin powder, okay. And it's this is kasuri methi. Kasuri methi, and that's basically just a dried leaf version of mm -hmm. it. Yeah. And then it goes. Again, very rich, rich colours in here. It looks like a proper curry. Mm. Wow, this is really good. And for you guys who've never cooked curry before, it's a really easy recipe. And trust me, you, once you've made it once, you just will not stop. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So c could you, like, obviously we're using chicken today. Could you use alternatives in here? Paneer? I mean, I mean, butter chicken, butter paneer. Yes. Uh, I haven't tried it yet, but I, I'm sure that you can use tofu as well. Oh, okay, excellent. And definitely soya, soya yep. chunks. Yeah, because you're quite experimental with your food, which is brilliant because, I mean, you love being in the kitchen as well. Yeah, um, and is there any new dish that you've actually come up with that's been, you, you, you've thought, blimey, that's actually quite special. I have so many dishes like that, but yeah. every dish has some sort of back grounding into a real, real yeah. authentic recipe. So when I learned to make, for example, uh, Nihari, once I master the Nihari, yeah. then I will add my own stuff to it and try to do different ways and, I'll, and come up with different things. Yeah. The Nihari takes several hours. So, <laughs> you know, so I come up with a way of making it quicker. Quicker, yeah. You know I mean, so that kind of stuff. Yes, authentic food is authentic food. You can't beat it. Yeah. But sometimes you don't have time to make authentic food. You don't. So you take the hints from the authentic recipes yeah and just make it your own make it your own and yeah. make it your quicker version as well you have to so. you have to because it is i mean some of indian cooking especially does is very time consuming yeah, and we just do not have that time yeah, unfortunately exactly. well occasionally yes yeah. I, yeah i would take time i would make time for this yeah but yeah for normally it's actually smelling perfect is it yeah oh good i like those absolute, words yeah. perfect okay now it's time for the chicken to the go in chicken uh, shall I help you about yes please yeah actually yeah, i'll go and go yeah. for it i'll let you oops well, before I actually throw everything outside, <laughs> actually I can't see the pot properly. So. There you go. Yeah. Is that any better? Yeah, I'm just yeah. gonna shove it like that. Yeah. So, has anybody cooked here for you that's been a really bad dish, and uh, you've kind of come, tried to come up with really brilliant excuses not to eat it? <laughs> well, <laughs> honestly, before I feed anyone, I try try taste it myself. Yeah. And if I don't like it, but has, I'm not gonna feed it. To but anyone. has somebody else f uh, made something for you that you've really hated, but you've either. You know, made an excuse and not ate it, or you well, just ate it and was I'll, sick I'll later. Be, I've been doing this since my childhood, trying to avoid <laughs> things which I don't like eating. I mean, for example, I I, I cannot eat karele. Oh, did can you not? I cannot. Oh, eat I love for that. The life of me, and and of course, it's one of the fam famous and favorite Indian dishes. Of course, and, and it's very healthy for you as well. Yeah, yeah. Well, probably that's why. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> that's very true. I like that. <laughs> I might use that myself. <laughs> That's, <my problem. laughs> That's a That's very good thing. Very okay, what I'm thing. gonna do is yeah. uh, uh, now put a little bit more water into it. Okay, yeah. Uh, now we need we need to build a curry into it. Yeah? Okay, the, the curry consistency yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. So I would say one glass of water would be good enough. So That's gonna be good. Curry. Yeah, go for it. Excellent. A little bit more. Yeah, why not? It's nice to have a bit of sauce actually. Yeah, I love, yeah, I love the sauce. Because not to forget, they're gonna uh, we're gonna put some cream into it as well later. So we're gonna cover this. Cover it. Yeah. And cook. So how long are we gonna let this cook well, for? Well, as now? soon as the chicken is done, then. Oh, and that's we, it. That's it. We're, and then we're, we're gonna add the cream, cream and uh, chili paste into it. Chili paste, and then after that, how long before it's well, ready to eat? 
once the co uh, chicken is done, then it's fine. Then it's gonna literally be two minutes after that. Anyway. Two minutes. Not even two. Two minutes, minutes is yeah. brilliant. That yeah. sounds good to me. Yeah. Okay, Nadi. I think uh, it looks to me that it's, it's done, right? It looks beautiful. Yeah, I've got to say, I it think looks chicken's amazing. Wrong. Yeah. It's very nicely cooked. Yep, it is. And it's just the consistency of it. So yeah. It's really taking form now. That's amazing. It looks so good. Can't wait to get my teeth in this and get uh, stuffed. Okay, now, uh, they're a little bit more unhealthy. So. Oh, okay, here we are. See, it was just hiding in the back there, you know, thinking that we might forget about him, but we're not. <laughs> it's, it's all of it going in. Yeah, yeah, all of it going all in. Of yeah. it. Oh, yes. <laughs> all we're of it. We're going all the way around. Okay, this Good. is single cream, so we're going to be, um, let me see how much it is. So it's, yeah, about 284 milliliters. We're just going to, right, shall I just do it? go for it? Okay, it's going. Oh but you have to keep stirring it quickly as well because it's going to stick at the bottom. Yeah, it's going to stick, okay. Yeah. Well, that's given it that thickness as well, yep. hasn't it? And yep. that that uh, butter chicken consistency, which is what we're used to seeing. Yep. So we're just going to yeah. leave it on the heat and then yeah, naturally yeah. get a bit thicker. Yeah. It's looking really well, you good You need to look after it, otherwise it's going to... It's going to just stop burning. Yeah, start burning. Yeah. So, um, and then what we're going to do is present this very nicely with a bit yeah. of uh, coriander, of course. Yes. And... And that's going to be butter chicken in our plates very soon. Mm. So with this then, we can eat, you can eat it with rice, you, you can, can eat it with naan, uh, naan everything. Party, whatever. I mean, what are we going to eat it with today then? No, nah, nothing. No, nah, nah, okay. Well, I have, funny enough, this uh, not very healthy option, but I have a whole meal naans. Oh, perfect. Yeah. Okay, you, it's having like the, the naughty but nice thing going on. <laughs> I, I quite like that. Yeah, let's keep it naughty and nice. Yeah. So how are we doing with this then? Let's so give it another little, a little star. Another little oh, star. Yeah. It's getting much thicker now, you can yeah. see it. Well, we need to make sure that it doesn't stick. Okay. At this point, if it sticks, then you will smell it. And all right. Yeah. And it's going to basically screw up all the hard work we've done. Yes. We've put into this. Yeah. Uh, it's like, you know, it's going to smell like a burning cream. Yeah. Burning, that's what, that's and what there's going to be a lot of very hungry people not very happy. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> So there's only one more ingredient then, and that's yes. the chili, green chili green paste. Chili. And uh, and that will just give it a little bit more bite to that. Yeah. And you're gonna have this fusion of flavors in your mouth. It'll be like a party in your mouth, And I the thing think. is, the reason we add the chili paste right at the end, yeah. so you can actually have the green chili, not just the taste, but the smell of it as well. Oh, lovely, yeah. Because it's already smelling so amazing. Yeah. You've got all these different... And the last, last bit of green chili is gonna, I mean, you will, as soon as you put it in, You'll know what I'm talking about. All right, excellent. Looking forward to it. Can't wait. Okay, that's oh, almost down. one dish in the bag, but don't forget we've got another dish coming up as well. Yeah. It reminds me a little bit of curry as well, doesn't yeah, it? That's yeah, what it looks yeah, like. Yeah, yeah. That's exactly like that. That nice, yeah. rich yellow colour and all the little little bits swimming in there quite nicely, quite happy. Yeah. Right, should we go for it with the chilli yeah, then? Yeah. Is that enough? Uh, less than that, mate. Less than that. <laughs> There's me saying I'm not going to put that much in. Oh. That much? Yeah, that's, that's, okay, that's, that's enough. So, say about a teaspoon, roughly. Yeah. yeah. Well, if you can take it, then you can put more of it. But yeah, if I'd my way, the whole yeah, jar yeah, would be in here, well, as you know. That would be. <laughs> well, you'd spend half yeah. your life on the toilet, then I think. Mm -hmm. But um, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> One way to lose yeah. weight very quickly. <laughs> okay. And I'm only um, joking. All right then. Yeah, that's can, can gone. Can you smell the green chili into it? It's just sort of seeping right at the top there and you can just feel it. Mm, nice little facial going on at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what I will do, I will uh, leave it uh, on a slow heat for now. Yeah. Just get a little bit thicker and that's it. And we're, we're done. done and then... Uh, we're ready to yeah. serve, basically. Yeah. Okay, so, so while we'll just put it this on is here. getting into shape, Yeah. why don't we start with the next one? I think so, why not? Yeah. And this is our Bengali prawns with a Punjab twist. That sounds very, very interesting. And it's your concoction, isn't it? Well, it is. It is. And well, again, it's based on authentic Bengali Authenticity. Recipe, okay, we just, like authenticity. And I just did a little twist to it to add a bit of Punjabi flavor. Good, good. Plus, it kind of goes with this as well. Otherwise, okay, so there's two worlds. World, world okay, that's nice. Yeah. So there you've got a nice little combo going on yeah. here. Very good idea. Okay, so our prawns are marinated beautifully. Yeah, I think what we can do, we just put this on the side. So I this think this, this is done, we'll garnish it later and let it Make settle it down. Pretty. So once it settles down, the, you'll have, it get a bit thicker anyway, so. Yeah. All right then, so, yep, the prawns are there. Yeah. So we need our other... Okay, let's just finish. cover this. Cover that one, okay. No, but they're gonna be, and... Keep it all nice and covered there. First thing first then, obviously the oil. Oil, and then, and then we'll fry the prawns in that oil first. In that oil, and then take, and then them, take them back. 
Okay. Take him out. Good. So yeah, that sounds good yeah, to me. Let me get this. And again, I think that's just going to add a bit more sort of flavour and texture to the actual prawns as well because they've all been beautifully marinated. And then just frying it a little bit just makes it that little bit more special. Let's do this. So I'm going to... Uh, so how much oil some, do you think that well, is I, roughly? I, I would say ha uh, half a cup. Half a cup. Okay, uh, half a cup of uh, oil. Uh, shall, and shall that's just oh, some flour Actually, sorry, quarter, quarter cup. Uh, hang on, let me show you. Uh, I would say... This full. That's a quarter. Quarter cup. Quarter cup. Quarter cup of. Uh, we're using sunflower oil. You can use any. You can oil. use any oil. Well, a lot of people, which I've heard, I'm not sure if it's hundred percent right. They prefer using mustard oil for cooking fish. I don't know oh, why. Okay. Does it make a big difference to the flavor? Do you think? I think it it does. Yeah. It kind of add, because mustard oil itself has a little bit of kick to it. Yeah. So it would add that, but I, I only use it to. Fry fish as in masala fish, yeah. but never use in cooking, so... No. Okay, well... We'll stick to the basics. I, th I think the, so, the yeah. The simple stuff. <laughs> I think so. We'll, yeah. play, okay. we'll let's, play it safe today. Just let's drop one of that into it. So just to, to see test. It, yeah. Right, okay. And here is the lovely prawns all ready to go for it. Is that alright, do you and think? I think, uh, yeah. And I think I would cook it, uh, yeah, uh, in two portions. Two portions, so okay. We, yeah, so... It, what, an even fry? Yeah, there we are. So. Okay, so let's get about half of it in. A little bit, one more handful. Is that all right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, okay, so then I'll use that. This one, this one, yeah. Okay, so just uh, give it a good all round stir. And we're just cooking it very lightly at this stage. Okay. You just want to crisp, make it crisp. It, yeah. This needs to go a little bit brownish. Yeah, so, so we're not overcooking it. Yeah. Normally, people prefer to uh, deep fry them. But for me, if I deep fry them, I can't use the same oil because it'll be too much oil. Yeah. So now I want to use the same oil so all the flavors are absorbed. Are still there. Yeah. there. And then you're not wasting anything. That's very good bit of recycling, actually. Very good. And we're all on budgets here as well. <laughs> exactly. we, we've kind of uh, gone off the radar a little bit with our budget today, haven't we? Uh, but not do really. You think? I mean, well, last time when we cooked. Uh, it was about a tenner. Well, the two dishes, roughly? Tenner, yeah. yeah. So I would say this will go up to about 50 bands, not more than that. Okay, not too bad uh, still, well, not too yeah, bad. If you, if you add uh, naans and all that stuff, of course... About gonna, 15. Yeah, so yeah. But because the yeah, prawns are normally expensive, but they are. if you want to use fish, for example, uh, you can get cord, I think, £2.50 £2. pack. Okay, that, that's, that stuff, that's yeah. very good deal, yeah. actually, very good deal. So because just today we just went with the prawns. Yeah. Uh, so We're feeling a bit posh today, yeah, that's what exactly. it is. Exactly. We could have done it with, with fish easily. Yeah, there's nothing like a good old bit of prawn though, isn't yeah, there? Really and especially nice. with all the spices and everything, it just tastes quite magical. That's it. Right, let's get the other good batch in now. It smells nice as well. It smells really nice. <laughs> even though it's just... Uh... I've not even done much to it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now, see that little leftover in the pot? Yeah. We're not going to waste this, are we? This has all the taste of prawns itself. Yeah. So once we've taken them out, we'll, and then this is spice, we'll just put that back We're gonna in. add it in. Yeah. Well, we're really on a good little <laughs> recycling trip today. Yeah. I think it's good to do that because it's true, because that has absorbed, uh, I mean, obviously there's all so many flavors going on yeah. and it, it'd be a shame to waste it. So we're gonna use every little bit of it yeah. and make it absolutely amazing. Yeah. There you go. See, anybody can make this dish, and that's the beauty of Get Stuff, because every dish that we show on here, you'll be able to make it so quickly. And uh, when you do make it, then please feel free to send us some pictures as well. Email will give you at the end of it. Oh, yeah, that'll be great. Nice bit of, uh, yeah, it'll be nice, a nice bit of interaction, actually. It'll be nice to see if uh, everybody's had a shot at uh, making these lovely prawns on our beautiful butter chicken, which is um, sort of uh, but, happily sitting in the pot at the moment. Actually, I think that gave me another idea. Oh, okay. We can take pictures of our food yeah. and put it on the website as well. What do Perfect. you think? Perfect, yeah? absolutely. And look at the recipes, what do you think? Oh, I think so, I think we should do. Yeah. Because um, these dishes are really, really fantastic and authentic and easy to make and really cheap as well. Do you know what I mean? So easy. So why not? I think that'd be a brilliant idea. This is bay leaf. Bay leaf, yeah. And kasuri methi. Yeah. Basically, the idea is, uh, the, this is the Punjabi touch actually. Okay, that's the twist with the Punjabi. Yeah, because a uh, yeah. uh, normal is methi seeds. All right. In authentic Bengali yeah. recipe, they use methi seeds. Okay. But I actually use kasuri methi. I mean, it gives a little bit of 
extra kick texture. And second thing is, it's gonna go with our butter chicken because they have we have same Perfect. thing in there as well. Perfect. So actually, I'm gonna turn it down quite a bit. Yeah. Otherwise, it's gonna burn everything. Quickly. Yeah. So we can take it off the flame as well, actually. Okay. Yeah. Oh, it's a little bit. Let it just cool down. Slowly. Oh yeah, because it's. Um, it's just too hot right it's now. It's piping that one. Yeah. 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 So so now this is yeah this is gonna go in. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Give Nicely. It a, give it a little, a little quick Good stir. Little stir. So use that one. Yeah. Which one? Does it yeah. You can really smell the cumin seeds actually. Yeah. It's lovely. Wow, this is good. Okay, just now. Yeah. Let, give it uh, less than half a half a minute so it kind of uh, infuses yeah, together. Yeah, infuses together. Yeah. And then we'll put the onions in. Okay, and the onion and the onions are all going in together. Are all going together, yes. and of course, it's gonna be on a, on high heat so we can uh, fry them properly. Yeah. Have you ever watched, um, is it, he's called Rick, Rick Stein's programs, he travels a lot abroad. Oh yes. Yeah, he's oh, quite yes. interesting, I quite like his method of cooking, yeah. but I think he's a bit too cleaned up, he needs to be mocked up a little bit. That's where we come in, well, I think. I think uh, he <laughs> goes, uh, hunts for the authentic recipes. He does, okay, yeah, so and he sticks by uh, them quite he, religiously. Yeah, well, Whereas we like, the rules are there to be broken, that's the first rule. <laughs> okay, I think the onion can go in. Yeah? yeah. Okay. So all the onion going in there. But you know, chopped. personally for me, I, I think it's 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 both. Uh, sometimes you do that need balance, to but... stick to the original authentic recipes because yeah. uh, you know let's let's not forget the traditions. Yeah, yeah, which, it's keeping which is, which is it's keeping history yeah. alive, isn't yeah, it, through exactly. cooking? Yeah. Uh, 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 we have already changed quite a bit in terms of food since I don't know. Uh, let's say it's nineteen. 60s since since the invention of microwave the food has completely transformed you're right very and that right of course has very affected true. other indian food as well that's true should we, we just yeah, leave it on to that yeah, i gonna say we need to really uh, take uh, it up a yeah. notch yeah. they Which look like they've had a good sun time yes, don't they yes, yes, the, yeah. the onions nice. uh, and i think it's time yeah we put a bit of a spice in yeah i think so let's take up the heat <laughs> yeah, let's it. take it up okay okay so how so, are we going to do that okay now what we have here yeah is uh, same uh, Kashmiri chili. Yeah. You can use red chili. Uh, it's just extra color. Yeah. Uh, same rock salt. Sure. Uh, I'm just gonna change this spoon because um, okay. yeah, it's quite noisy with that one. Right. Let's do this. Okay. okay. So, so we'll and now this brown stuff is mm. coriander powder. Coriander powder. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Uh, and you will know as soon as you put it in there. You will smell it, yeah. And and I don't know if you can remember the smell of something like korma. Yes, yes. That smell very is distinctive of, smell. Yes, that yeah. smell is from coriander powder. Wow. So let's add all of that. Let's do this. Wow. Oh, excellent. Okay. Well, in it goes. Yep. Give it a good old mix. Give it a good, good quick stir. Yep. Make oh, sure we colour, don't burn it, right? No, the color's changing nicely yes. actually. A very and deep, I'll, rich red here. Yeah, and I'll quickly. I'm just turning it down a little bit. And I quickly, now at this point, add that water which is left the over. Water, from okay. The water, yeah. okay. So that, that's going to stop it burning. God, yeah, I almost yeah, dropped yeah, it on my star. Bit of a nice yellow, big mark on my t shirt. But this is taking shape quite nicely now. You can see the onions have nicely sauteed in there. Uh, and all, all these spices are in, which is great. So, yeah, you had some green chilli cut there. Are we going to wait well, for no, a little no, bit later? Actually, now it's, it's time. We put it is time. garlic, uh, ginger, tomato puree. And green chili all in together. Together, okay. All right then. So is it double amount of what you double amount? Okay. So yeah. two teaspoons of uh, garlic puree. Is that oh, enough? Actually, do a little, more a little bit more. Yeah, you like okay. a bit of garlic. Who cares like, if your like breath garlic, smells? Yeah. Right. Okay. So. And then we do ginger. Ginger. Okay. Uh, same, I... same amount, I would say. So is it right to use the same yeah, spoon? Yeah. 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 Okay, so same amount. So one and two. That's it. But two. This is yeah, it's quite strong, isn't it? Strong. And then my favourite friend. No, not this. Oh, not actually, yet. Actually, oh, the, they're my friend as well, yeah. obviously. Well, let's green get this. So green how many green chilies are in there? About two, 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 two big, big chilies. I mean, it's a big. normal green chili, but it's yeah. in the quite large ones. So. Get every bit of seed in there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And tomato puree. Smells divine. Absolutely divine. That is so good. This garlic is such a beautiful yeah, thing, that's isn't that's it? Yeah, that's I just absolutely love it. Uh, it looks so good, and we've not even done much, but oh, brilliant. Okay. So how much, just a good squirt? Yeah. Okay, is that all right? A bit a more? A little bit more. Ah, uh, go on then. And that's it. That's it. Let's give that so, a good mix. And now this so it's point, quite colorful, actually, because you've got yeah, the green, yeah, you've got yeah, the red. Yeah. And at this point, 
Now, since we are making a little bit of curry, yeah. so I'm gonna give you this half a glass of water. Half a glass of water. Three, little about three quarters? Than, yeah, three quarters. Yeah. Yeah. It's all gonna no, go in. I didn't do it. That's because again, oh, if, wow. we, if we were using real, uh, like tomatoes, full yeah. tomatoes, then they would add their own water into it. Yeah, so you, you can use uh, yeah. fresh tomatoes fresh, if fresh you want. Yeah, fresh tomatoes, yeah. yeah. Oh, that looks well, so lovely. Well, again, the thing is, uh, because we are on a budget, yes. uh, tomato puree, you can get get one from Tesco's and you know, for, for, for yeah, 50p Perfect. or something. And, I don't know uh, if that's cheap, actually. That's really no, good. If, if, yeah, you can. Uh, if you want a branded one, like this one, uh, this would be about a pound or something, so, which you're not going to use. You're feeling a bit rich. A few more pennies. Yeah. yeah. Well, because uh, when you're budget, you're budget. You are. So you are There's no two ways. Yeah, exactly. So that's it. So if you if you just leave it uh, on a slow heat, let yes. it cook a little bit, and if you can cover it as well, actually. Oh, okay. Idea, because we don't want to get you know, splashed. Yeah, splashed. Okay. With the, especially oh, is. when there is haldi in it, because the haldi is going to stains never, never come off. Yes. Well, you know we need to find um, we need to find a way where we can get rid of haldi stains because it is a nuisance. The amount of claws I've got, I've got little yellow splodges here yeah. and there. It's disgusting, but <laughs> and it doesn't look well, very nice. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, well, look into it. I'll look at it. There must be a way. There has to be a way. By hook or by crook, we're going to find a way. Right. So we're going to leave that to cook for how long? For five minutes. Five minutes. Yeah, okay. we just need a little good good boil to it. Just let it all mix yeah, up yeah, nicely yeah, exactly. there. Yeah. And then we'll add uh, the prawns. The prawns and, and then the chili paste. We're going to add a bit later. You said actually not in this one. We already done the fresh chilies in oh, there. Oh, the fresh. Okay, so, so we're not going to do that. Not do that. Yeah, it's just my excuse to get more yeah, chili yeah, in exactly. that. So I tried and I failed. <laughs> no, <laughs> you know it too well exactly. now. Okay, so yeah, so let's cook it for five minutes yeah. and then we'll add prawns. Add the prawns yeah. and then so do we want the curry paste to be sort of obviously not too thick but not too thin? So yeah. just that medium. Yeah. yeah. And basically, once the prawns are in, so now this. This will be the time when prawns will cook into this thing. Right, and then so. that's when they'll, they'll get coated with all the flavours yeah, and everything. Exactly. And then how long are we going to leave it to cook for? Well, I will say about five to ten minutes, between five and ten minutes. Five to ten minutes. On a very low heat, it's going to just have to simmer slowly. Nicely. Okay, that sounds good to yeah. me then. Yeah. And uh, in the meantime, we can get our own uh, other little uh, preparations that we yeah. need to. Yeah. For, for the big display a little bit later, yeah. so this is going to be very exciting. Okay, okay. so that, that was for roughly about five minutes yeah, that we minutes. kind of kept it. Give it a good, good start, let's yeah. say it's not sticking or if it's sticking. Yeah, it seems it's, all right actually. Yeah, it's yeah, it's okay. quite it's, nice it's consistency. Perfect. Yeah. So, so now it's time for... For the prawns, I'll let you do the honours. It's kind of like putting the icing on the cake, isn't it? <laughs> sticking the prawns in, that's it. Nice. Oh, wow, yeah. Hell yeah, this is a dish and a half. This looks amazing. I just can't wait to try it. Feels like I've actually cooked a proper curry today, actually. A good, authentic curry. And it's all come together so beautifully, thanks to Rowdy. Do you like this? It's really funky, <laughs> isn't it? All right. And then we're going to cover it again. Yeah. What I will do, yeah. actually, just put a little bit of water. So yeah, it, Thick, uh, loosen it up a little so, bit yeah, more. Yeah. yeah. Because it's quite thick consistency at the moment. Yeah, yeah. Um, so about half a glass. Start, start it a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, half a glass. Yeah, half a glass will do it perfectly, and then we're going to leave it to simmer. Yeah. And that will just cook on off its own accord then. Yeah, but leave it to, to simmer, and uh, I think another five, between five and ten minutes, depending on the consistency. If you get the right consistency in five yeah. minutes, then we'll and I guess you could have it. You could have it thin consistency. You could have it quite thick. It's entirely. Yeah, up to you exactly. Up to you. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. And there you go. And it's time to set the other things. I think this would go nicely with rice. Yes. Uh, we will try a bit of naan as well. Oh yeah, definitely. Uh, but I think I, we don't need to show people how to cook nice. Come, come on. No, surely you know how to cook rice, right? <laughs> yeah, well, come on. No, yeah? Yeah, I think you do. Or just Uncle Ben's. <laughs> Uncle Ben's is, you know what, it's a godsend. That, that, that man was just absolutely brilliant. I mean, not only plain rice, yeah. you've got Chinese style yeah. rice, you've got Indian style rice. Well, we have to get Uncle Absolutely Ben's brilliant. sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Ben's, we like uh, you, we love yeah. you. <laughs> okay, so yeah, let's get to that. Let's get preparations done. This is done. And the end looks, results, we've done it, fantastic. Look, looks beautiful. To so do. now what we're gonna do, before, I mean of course we said that we're gonna add coriander to it. Yeah. Which we'll, we will, yeah. but there's something else I wanna try. I've never tried it before. Okay. So, it may ruin all, <laughs> but um, I'm sure it won't. This is a special garam masala which I made. Yeah. 
it's like every other garam masala, but it has something called long pepper, pepper right. in it, which is used in some authentic Indian recipes. So what I'm going to do, take a little, little bit of a pinch, a little pinch, yeah, and just just just, a little, just to give it a little, so it adds a little bit of texture to it as well. Yeah, and, and a bit more kick. Yeah, a little yeah. more kick. Excellent. Uh, your favorite. God, one. we've got a lot of kick in these dishes. Oh yeah! Oh my God! I, I just <laughs> hope that I'm not going to get kick, completely kicked out. <laughs> Because that, yeah. There's yes, that's uh, a bit of a cause for concern, possibly. But I think we'll be, I yeah, think we'll so, be all right. Yeah. So the yeah. things there. Nice. Uh, okay. Excellent. Now we can add coriander. Here. Okay. This is the best bit. It is literally like putting ice on the cake. So we'll uh, just take a little handful, and then just sort of. There we are. Okay. That looks really nice. It looks beautiful. Okay. A bit more here. I'm not going to get too carried away. And there you have it, we've got this beautiful butter chicken and complemented with the Bengali prawns with a Punjab twist. Well done. That's it. Thank you very much for uh, taking the time and uh, teaching us all how to make these amazing dishes, which are going to be uploaded onto our uh, Facebook page, I believe. Actually, I I'm thinking we'll make a special page on our website yeah. and give all the guests a recipe there. What do you think? I, I thumbs up to that because you know you guys are going to be just stuck in that kitchen but you're going to actually enjoy cooking rather than being stuck in the kitchen and not enjoy cooking yeah, absolutely, right absolutely. So it's putting oh, this, the fun in food absolutely that's yeah. what the idea is well there you have it so guys don't forget you can email me on uh, get stuffed at southalltv.com so uh, big thank you to you Raji I know you're a very no busy man but you've taken time to uh, show us always. these amazing recipes well, something like this always there you go there you go that's great teamwork there and I've had a fantastic time making these these uh, two dishes because for me it's making a proper curry authentic and beautiful so I'm gonna say goodbye until next time get stuffed